Hi, this is Becky with Icing on Top Becky's Cakes, and today we're going to do something different. We're going to make Mama's Amazing Caramel Cinnamon Rolls. First, we're going to melt our shortening and milk together, and we just want to make it warm so that they're well blended. So I'm just going to put this on medium and keep stirring it. Then I'm going to get my yeast and stir in two tablespoons of my yeast in some very warm water. We don't want it hot because we don't want to kill the yeast. So just make sure it's very warm that you can comfortably put your finger in it and not burn yourself. And then we're just going to completely dissolve that. I'm using active dry yeast. Now that it's well dissolved, we're going to set it aside until we get the rest of our ingredients in our large bowl. So we're going to get a really large bowl, put our two eggs in there and beat those. Then after we beat the eggs pretty good, we're going to add the sugar and salt and then the milk and shortening mixture and the yeast. And once we get it all in there, we're going to mix it up real good. And next we're gonna to wanna to add our flour and we're gonna add that about a little bit at a time, maybe about two cups at a time, stir it and then get that well incorporated and then add some more. And then you don't wanna add it all at once because um, if it's too much, it'll be too dry and you don't wanna to have to go back and forth for trying to get it wet again. So we're just gonna add a little bit at a time and mix well. Then you can test to see how sticky it is. Right now it's a little too sticky to be rolled out. So I added more flour and then I kneaded it with my hands. And now I can get my hands through it without it all getting stuck all over my hands. So this is the right consistency here. And so now we're gonna cover it with a towel and let it rise. So it's gonna double in size. So we're gonna let it rise about an hour. We're gonna place it in a nice warm place. Sometimes if the house is pretty cold, I will just turn on the oven and put it near um, that exhaust area on your oven, that one uh, area that's always warm on your oven, I put it near that area. And so that way it rises. And as that is rising, we can go and make our caramel sauce. So I've got a cup of butter in here and two cups of brown sugar. And I'm just gonna keep mixing that, stirring constantly until it's well incorporated. As soon as it starts boiling and bubbling, we're gonna take it off the stove. And that's when we're gonna add our corn syrup. in that half cup of corn syrup now that it's off the stove and we're just gonna mix that in really good and that'll make us some great caramel sauce and that caramel sauce we're gonna divide between our two 9 by 13 pans and we can just pour it into the pans and smooth it so that it's evenly distributed between both pans and then we can just set it aside until we're ready to put our cinnamon rolls in Now we can come back to our dough and it's about doubled in size and then I'm just gonna punch it down. You can see how fluffy it is there. I'm gonna put some uh, flour over our clean surface here and we're gonna smooth that all out. This is so that our dough does not stick to our countertop and then that would be really hard rolling if it did. So I'm gonna smooth it out all over there. I'm gonna make sure I have plenty of flour on my hands and on my rolling pin. Now we're going to divide our dough into two sections, one for each pan. Just cut that right in half. And then we're going to roll out both sections separately. I usually aim for making them somewhat of a rectangle shape because that makes it easier when you're trying to divide and slice up the cinnamon rolls later. Now comes the fun part. We're going to put some butter on. I either melt or soften my butter first because this makes it really easy. I have about a stick of butter that I split between the two sections of dough. Then you're just going to smooth it all over. Make sure you get all the corners because we want that yumminess to be everywhere. I'm just going to smooth that over the entire thing and then I'm going to take my brown sugar and I'm going to sprinkle just about a cup of it or so. It really goes by how much you want in there. 
I think mine usually looks to be about a cup and I sprinkle that evenly throughout and then I'll smooth it with my hands. And then we'll take our cinnamon and we're gonna sprinkle that everywhere too. And that just goes by taste as well as how far as how much cinnamon you like in there. But I just evenly sprinkle that all throughout. Now we're gonna begin rolling. So we're gonna tuck this first part right under and I kind of pull it a little bit as I'm tucking it under. That way it gets a nice tight roll in there. I'm gonna pull this part and tuck it as you go. And so the trick with this part is don't go fast, just make sure you get a nice tight roll for the whole area, and then you'll have some nice yummy cinnamon rolls. And when you get to the end, just make sure that you seal it off by pressing that dough into itself right there. And now I'm gonna cut that whole log right in half, because I'm gonna make sure that I get an even number for each row. So we're gonna have four rows, so then I'm gonna cut each of those halves in half. So now I know how much I have for each row. And on each row, I want three cinnamon rolls. So I take one of those sections and cut it into three even slices. And then I just place those right into the caramel on the pan. And this recipe will make 12 cinnamon rolls for each pan. So it's a total of 24 cinnamon rolls. And um, so we're just setting them all in this pan. And you see some, some of them look smaller than others, they, but um, once we cover them and let it rise again in a warm place, they will grow again. And then of course, when we uh, put them in the oven, it'll grow even larger. So these will all fill up the pan, even though they don't look like it right now. So after we've let them sit for about an hour and they've grown again, we're gonna put them in the oven. 350 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes and then we're going to flip them out immediately onto wax paper and that way the caramel will come out cleanly if you wait too long then the caramel's not going to all come out the way you want it to so you got to flip it right after you get it out of the oven and as you can tell one side of this got a little more caramel than others because i didn't flip it fast enough so that's going to be the lucky side whoever gets that side will get the most caramel and um, if you want to see the whole recipe is in the description and that's mama's amazing caramel cinnamon rolls thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel